Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Today we are going to not be installing complete alchemy and cooking overhaul, at least not yet. Um, if you aren't familiar, there is a rather large patch hub. And if you look for everything with Keiko, see there's 71 results. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking through here, I already had like 10 mods at least that were on here, so... I decided that this will be a thing that I will save for much, 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 much later. So yeah, and even if this ends up being incompatible with something I want more than it later on, it's not a big deal. There's like a lighter version. But what we are installing today are the rest of the mods I want from Anai Sion. Sion. Um, a bunch of them are new, and I would have definitely used the older ones before, but I decided to give these newer ones a try. They are Manaz, Integrated Races of Skyrim, Freyr, Integrated Standing Stones of Skyrim, Winter Sun, Faiths of Skyrim, Sacrosanct, Vampires of Skyrim, and then of course Growl, Weird Beasts of Skyrim. Yeah, I think with the Standing Stones one, yeah, they all do different stuff depending on what race you are now. Like that is a huge addition in like re replayability and customization, and that's pretty cool. Uh, Winter Sun, Faiths of Skyrim, there are so many deities now and you almost certainly will never pray to all of them but you know whatever you're you know if there's a specific like corner of elder scrolls lore that you're into a specific daedric prince or adra or uh what do they call the uh, the ones that's the Mag magna magna gay magna gay you know they literally has everything here and then it expands the like pray thing so that you have the ability to pray while you're like out and doing so increases your devotion a little bit over time. But if you pray at actual like shrines to your deity, uh, it increases it more. And then once you are eventually devout, you get some kind of special power. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you, you know, not all of my characters, I'm, I'm only going to have a handful of characters from Proteus that are going to care much about a deity, let alone be like a devout worshiper of one. But it's definitely something I'm going to have at least an Aedra, Devout Worshipper, and a Daedra, a Devout Worshipper. Uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. And so, yeah, I'm excited. This is all pretty neat. And best of all, guess what? I promise there's no requirements or anything except some of them like require each other uh, because they're part of his mod set and stuff. But if you decide you want to use mostly his mods, then you're going to be in a, in a good place. Oh, where's that shout one? He had a shout one, too. Did I not... It might be that that... Oh, I think that changed... Uh, hold on. It's old, but it's one of the most popular mods. I'm pretty sure it's the number one when you search Shout and do downloads. Yeah, it's the number one <sighs> mod. And it looks like it doesn't... Like, everything else doesn't have much requirements or anything. Um, so, yeah. Did I take us out of something to get to this? No. Okay, so we're going to install that, too. Because that'll be when I eventually have a Dragonborn character. That'll be something that'll... Because uh, he's going to like just use shouts. Because I've never made a Dragonborn character that does all the Dragonborn stuff. That like use shouts exclusively. Um, Alright, let's do it. Manaz, done. Prayer, up, up, up. done. Winter Sun, up, 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 up. done. Sacrosanct, growl, done. Thunderchild. I'm a little beefy. And done. Alright. And we're all... Now granted, these are all going to be pretty hard to test without... Uh, we'll just get in and we'll like look at the race power changes and stuff at least. Let's go to good old Valkyrie. And there we go. Ooh, pop-up. Religion. Most innocents of Tamriel are religious. You may choose a, to follow a deity, receiving minor blessing and learning about their secret tenets. And if you want to find a different deity letter, you can change. You just got to find their thing. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, this is based on how to view more information. So, yeah, this is based on uh, you can base this on who you have been worshipping already, if I believe I recall from the mod page. Uh, sure, I think is important to the nords right <laughs> slay elves defeat oh yeah so is he uh doesn't isn't his nordic thing a different or is that someone else but this seems to uh to line up with what the nord would want pray once a day to strengthen your bond i assume that's a power 
Ray. Oh yeah, and Rage, this is uh, from the improved race thing. Uh, Z is power, I think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just pray out in the open here. More time does not make it go up or anything. It's just, uh, I think you can do it as many times as you want. It might just be once a day. Oh no, it goes up a little bit, but it's so slow. I think uh, I think there was some kind of reason to only do it once a day, but yeah, double check the mod page for yourself. Um... Let's just go try Rage out. Leave town at least. Oops. I went ahead and used it. My magic uh, depletes. I guess it tells me what it does probably, huh? Improves attacks, critical strikes, and spells by 25%, but rapidly drains magicka. Cast again to disable. Cool. Oh, here we go. 4% less attack damage and stagger from elves. <laughs> That's fine. Nord blood, 25% frost resist. Additional passive effect from the Allmaker stones. And then, yeah, this tells you the tenants. Save Tamriel, become a warrior, slay elves. So I imagine all of that might help your uh, devotion over time, too. Uh, what are the other things we added? No. Oh, it's like I could go look at a cell, but I'm embarrassed to admit that I don't exactly know where the closest one is. I know it's up here somewhere, I think. But, uh, oh, stones will be there somewhere. Maybe I can just run to it real quick. All right, let's go. Yeesh, that's quite the mountain range. I'm sure there's a pass somewhere. Oh, it said there's... That's probably it, though, huh? Yeah, I guess. So I'm just going around the mountain. Of course, this pass is, like, way up at the top. And here we have accepted the warrior stone. Now <laughs> look angry. <laughs> oh, and because we are a Nord, we get 100 points of armor. <laughs> oh, boy, do I not know how that's going to balance it into... How much, is, how much armor is, like, uh, even just a steel chess piece? So yeah, that's, and I'm pretty sure, like, if I recall correctly, the total of, like, the even the banded iron set's only, like, 80 or something, 88. So that's a lot of armor for not wearing armor. I don't know how that's going to balance into my game long term. But, but yeah, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> so, yeah, looks like everything's working. Uh, continue to chug along and make some progress. We've been doing mostly easy stuff so far. It's going to get a little harder at some point, but not today. All right. Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you next time.